What is up, heroes? It's Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Soma Blind. In the last episode, we made our way to Tau, which was pretty exciting, yet at the same time, it was pretty terrifying, because if I recall correctly, and it's been a minute since I last recorded, there was a monster chasing after us, and the doors took forever to open, and that's what was plaguing our ability to proceed through the area. However, now, um, well, I guess we can give it another go, right? <laughs> was this... I don't remember the map of the place that well. Hmm. Let's see here. Tracking. Yeah, I think we already looked at all that. So I guess let's see where we can go. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. There was a friend waiting for us down here, wasn't there? We'll save that for now. Those sound effects are so unsettling. That's right. We open this door, and our friend is just going to be waiting for us. But this time we're ready. This time we're super ready for it. Maybe I should preemptively open this door. It's probably a good idea. I can see the static, guys. Actually, there's a great function for this. There he is. Now, which way does he go? That way. Perfect. Oh, he must have hurt us. I was going to say, maybe we can just sneak right behind him, but... Oh, crap. Uh, crap, 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 crap. We're so dead, we're so dead, we're so dead, we're so dead, we're so dead. Run, 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 run. Oh, but this is way too narrow and straight ahead. This is not going to work out very well. Nope, 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 nope. Alright, well... Maybe this is okay-ish? Ish? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start opening that door while he inevitably runs after us. We're going to open this area. Maybe as somewhat of a safe haven. Maybe not. Probably not, honestly. There he is. Close the door. Close the door. Thank you. Alright. And then... Oh, he's totally coming in here. Alright, we're going to play... We're going to play the game of ring around the table in the middle of the room. Yep, there he is. He sees us, alright. He's having a grand old time chasing after us. We're gonna close that door. This door is open now, so we can run through here. Where do we want to go next? Is the question. Well, there's only one place to go, isn't there? Up, I guess. The real question is, are we safe up here? Or no? Moment of truth, right here, guys. Watch there be one behind me. No? Oh, shoot. That sound is so unsettling. I can't see because of this bar. The static. Is it from the floor below, or is it from up here is the question. I don't know. Either way, we seem to have, if only temporarily, escaped from that monstrosity down there. Okay, proceed nice and slowly. We can only go this way. Oh crap. Ah, <sighs> not what I wanted to happen. So 
but I don't think we're in the clear just yet. I really don't. Oh, we're saving. The game saved. We're in the living quarters now. And there's some static. Which is never a good sign. Okay. Well, game's slowing down a little bit. Probably got a lot to load. What are we going to find in here? Anything of interest? I mean, this is certainly a monstrosity if it was somebody's living quarters. At some point, they clearly met a rather unfortunate fate. Johan Ross is remotely locked. Okay. Oh my god. What was... Whew. That spooked me, alright. What about this door here? Whoa. What the heck is this monstrosity? Some weird amalgamation of WoW and a person that used to live here, supposedly. Wow. They almost look like insect-like. That was intense. I had to, like, double-check to make sure we weren't getting attacked by something. Oh, boy. Can't we do anything for him? No. We're out of sedatives. If we had a gun, this would be the time to pull it out. <sighs> Did not expect it to end like this. Should have jumped the climber back to Omicron. Without the Ark? Forget about the Ark! No, you don't get to say that. It's the only thing left of value, you know that. Yeah, yeah. Promise you won't leave it behind. Well, I'll be dead one day. Then what? Well, better keep it safe until then. Don't want the wow to take and swallow it whole. I'm sorry, Catherine. It's okay, Ian. Just let it out. Let it all out. So there was some tension. Something bad happened to the Ark, and they were trying to redeem whatever mistake they had made, but it doesn't seem like they were able to. Squeeze me! Stress ball! <laughs> Should bring one of those to work. That'd be funny. But yeah, and it seems like Catherine wanted to head back to Omicron. Whereas the others were not too thrilled by that plan. Munch print. Okay, this is somebody else's living quarters. What the fuck did we do? Oops, I accidentally stopped that. My bad, guys. What the fuck did we do? Hey, try not to think about it. My whole life, I've been a good man. We messed up, Sarah. There, there. We should have launched. Taken the chance. There's time. If Ashkin says we could try again, when things calm down. You gotta do it, you know? You got to. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Was there some sort of sickness that got a hold of them? That's definitely what seems like it. Or there was like, they had an opportunity, oh man, they had an opportunity to launch the Ark, chose not to, and then lost their, uh, their opportunity. Oh, that's a sad picture. Is this the bathroom? Anything of interest in here? Ah, toothbrush, been looking for one of those. No, doesn't seem like anything exceptionally interesting in the bathroom. The infirmary is that way. Dispatch, dive room, push to call, lift. Common room, dive room. I mean, I, I believe it. It's talking about WoW, right? 
Push to call lift. Huh. I'm so curious. I get the impression that that's back down to where we were, and I don't really want to go there just yet. This is dispatch. I don't think we'll be safe if we're out there. So we're going to close that door for the time being. Forgive me if I'm not exploring your favorite area or something like that. Is there truly nothing here? There's the infirmary. Let's head on up to the infirmary. What could possibly go wrong? In a place of healing. It's just funny, I always say that. Because it's like, ever since Corpse Party, can never trust the infirmary. Oh, it's locked. Hmm. Oh, I wonder if that's, that's probably an automated recording set for the door. Otherwise, I was going to say, I doubt there's somebody else in there that's identifying us as one of WoW's pets. Right? So what's this area that's still locked? Okay. Whoa. Oh my. Why, hello there, friend. Good to see you again. It's been a minute. Alright, well, there's Dispatch and the Dive Room. I wish I had the map, so I knew where I wanted to go. This is the lift. Interesting. Compact freight lift. Can I do something with that? Is it going to bring something down from the infirmary? I want to be able to get in here, and that might be my ticket up, but I guess not. Either way, we'll heal up a little bit, because we did take that fall damage, even if it's not affecting our vision at the moment. That does tend to drain the power in the room as well. For better or for worse. Here is the mainframe. Oh man, I'm at such a, a indecisive point. I don't know if I should be going down towards the dive room. I think that's where we came from, right? We were in the dive room. So I guess let's try going to dispatch. Hopefully this isn't the wrong way. That's all I can really say. Interesting. What do we learn here? Transmission, comm logs, door locks, phi status. Transmission, upsilon... Theta, they're all offline. Oh? Unable to establish connection to Cadiz or Lisbon. I mean, they're all offline. I highly doubt we're going to get a call. I'm sure there's some Easter egg or something here. Maybe if we had done certain things at these different stations, we could try to actually have one of these phone calls or something. Yeah, I bet there's something interesting you could have done there, but... Com logs to Omicron to Phi... I'm not entirely sure how to look at that. So here's a little bit of a map, at least. We are currently in Dispatch, which is the green room is unlocked and we want to get into Johan Ross's place and then up to the infirmary so we've locked that let's um huh oh I guess I need a code for the infirmary I can just unlock that right away interesting huh that's very interesting. That was so creepy. It was like I didn't know the code, and then I came back to it to try to figure out what it was or something, and then it just immediately showed me 2768. Whatever is controlling the computer, whatever is guiding me, 
is, well, it's doing that. It's guiding me. It's pushing me towards wherever I'm going. I don't feel like I'm 100% in control of my actions at the moment. Access tunnels are unstable. Five proper launch site okay, mission control okay, assembler okay, site fully operational. So it's the access tunnels that are unstable. Interesting. Omega space gun. Okay. So I guess we can now look at that one specific room. This is, oh, this is the transport line. From Tau to Phi. We'll probably have to go through this intermediate wet storage. Launch site access. Okay, that's that's where we're trying to go. So, that's some useful information. So this is unlocked now. Let's see what we find. Whole bunch of math and physics. Good stuff, good stuff. I'm pretty sure this is discussing the, the growth of WoW. Can I... Any, like, memories I can tap into? I feel like that would be nice. I'd be surprised if there wasn't something more interesting here. What is this? Journal, recordings. So, 2103, September 13th. I was hoping to see Omicron today. The evacuation ordered by the people at Theta was a gift, an excuse to leave Alpha and abandon the WoW. As the storm cleared, we were swarmed by monsters that the WoW had facilitated. We were ambushed and forced back towards Tau. Huh. Glasser, Kovsky, Kotzi, and I survived. Alclair is in the infirmary, but it doesn't look good. Interesting. So WoW straight up attacked these people. Kotzi made a run for it to check observation for anything resembling food. Going outside is beyond dangerous. It's like going to buy cigarettes in a hurricane. She came back and she had some crumbs with her. We all knew it was empty. I think she just wanted a chance to die without carrying the, res the responsibility of taking it herself. People from the plateau showed up. This is a few months later. It was a group of engineers from Theta telling us that they wanted to use the Omega space gun to launch something called the Ark. It's an artificial world that carries brain scans made from people working at Pathos 2. The idea is silly but endearing. We all agreed to do a scan so we could take part in this afterlife. Oh, so all of this struggle to even just survive in the face of WoW and its creatures took place over the course of a few months before the Ark even existed. Some of the engineers returned from Phi. Apparently they postponed the Ark launch. They were all in a very foul mood and difficult to get any straight answers from. Except for one very important thing. They all wished to remain at Tau to figure this Ark business out, but they had scheduled for the climber to pick them up tomorrow. Someone would need to catch that climber to alert Omicron to what was happening. Luckily, Glasser and I were able to take on this mission. I was finally able to get to warn Dahl and Sarang about the critical situ situation at Site Alpha. Then we have some recordings. Equilibrium. The pattern has stopped evolving. The WoW has managed to find balance. I convinced SSE Volchek to turn off all external control systems, making the WoW our de facto caretaker. So far, it's exceeding expectations. Hmm, we all know how that turns out. Since the comet crashed a few days ago, January 12th, the WoW has dropped to a low energy state. It hasn't abandoned its duties. It's keeping climate and life support going. But it's been simplifying the pattern, redefining its protocol. The WoW has started to grow physically. It's not just the core chamber. All around Pathos 2, structure gel is bursting through the pipes and bleeding through walls. I don't know what WoW could possibly stand to gain from this, but I assume it is intentional. Interesting. The heart of WoW has claimed such a large part of the core chamber that there can no longer be any question to its heightened awareness. Not only does its expansion suggest an unexpected understanding of space, but also its own physical manifestation within the world. Yikes. And then lastly, termination. The WoW is reaching out to every machine, every life form, to manipulate, to control. It's trying to help save its creators from all this, just like the protocol demands. But really, what is good enough? <laughs> Where is the line drawn for what is human and what is not? Would walking corpses do? Would a group of machines thinking they're human be acceptable? We can't trust a machine to know, to understand what it means to be. We have to terminate the WoW project. It can be done. 
I just need to get some help from Omicron. Interesting. Interesting. So they did recognize that WoW was out of essentially out of control and that they needed to terminate it. And they, of course they bring up the good questions of what does it mean to be human? Can a machine even learn what it means to be human, right? And that, that needs to be stopped. They need help from Omicron though. Huh. I wonder what that help was. Anything else of interest? I don't know. I'm trying to remember, I think there was like a view you could use to uh, turn the text on, but all good. Is this notable? I don't really think so. I'm sure those of you who have played the game a number of times recognize what all of this is and what it means, but... Hmm. Oh, is this WoW in the, the core chamber? They're monitoring its spread and we're of course going to see it evolve quite significantly over time. Interesting, and you're starting to see that sort of static effect on, on reality around it too. What is this? It's impact on some of the, the wildlife around the station, maybe? Uh, uh, we recognize these, right? Our fist-bound friends. So they had existed before, essentially, humanity went extinct, right? And they were trying to study them and understand them, and then eventually put a stop to them. Although they obviously failed to do so. But alright, so the infirmary should be unlocked now. So I think that's going to be our next goal. Oh. You. You're different. Don't mind me. Interesting. So she seems incredibly human at the moment. Can I help you with anything? The only thing is she's being kept alive by this machine. Life support. Nice suit. Used to have one just Used like Used to. You. Are you human? Sarah Lindwall. Payload technician at your service. A rare sight, am I right? I'd say so. You're the first normal living human I've seen. There's not many left down here. Most of them are up on the plateau. You mean at Omicron? Yeah. There's no one alive at Omicron. You've been there? I've been all over. The power plant at Upsilon. The ruins of Lambda. The abandoned Delta, Theta. You've been to Theta? There's not a lot left of Pathos too. And, uh, I'm the only living person you've met. <coughs> you mean I'm the last living human on the planet? I'm sorry. Wow. Who are you again? Simon Jarrett. Stationed out? Nowhere. I, I used to work in a bookshop in Toronto. Long story. Then what the hell are you doing here? I'm trying to find the Ark. Why would you? How do you know about that? I've heard it's the last hope for mankind. Damn right it is. Now what do you want with it? Take it to the gun at Phi. Launch it into space. That was the plan, all right. I've been guarding it ever since we brought it back to Tau. I just couldn't bring myself to let go. Tell you the truth. I don't have the strength to argue. And I certainly don't have the time to wait for the next sentient thing shuffling through here. Go ahead. Take it. Thank you. Can I get you anything? Do anything for you? You could kill me. Good one. I still can't believe I'm the last one. That's crazy. That is crazy. I'm glad you came by. Good to get this over with. Can you imagine? If I knew you'd come, I would have cleaned this place up a little bit. Can you imagine realizing you're the last human alive? And that the thing 
you've essentially been living to guard this thing, the Ark, the last hope of mankind, without the strength to actually do anything with it. And then something not a human comes by, and you have to trust it because it's literally the only thing you can cling to. And then after you give up this Ark, this thing you've been protecting, that's been giving meaning to what remaining life you have left, after giving that up, what else do you have to live for? Right? So when she says, you know, you could kill me, she's 100% serious. This is a picture of, obviously, life on Earth. Must be some scenery that she particularly enjoyed. Oh, we actually have the choice to disable her life support. Oh, man. Oh, man, that's a, that's a doozy. Wow, that is some that is some nice nature. A lot of greenery. Something that might not even exist or exist on the world now. I got no secrets worth keeping. Yeah, we can take a look at this computer and see what's left. Intercom, dispatch. Oh, and I was also gonna say it sounds like they went out to Fi to try to launch the Ark and then got cold feet. The infirmary, I mean, that's where we are, right? Oh, Claire's office, okay. I always do that. <laughs> I always just hit circle to go back instead of clicking the back button. Door locks. Do I want to lock these? Or do I not want to? I don't, I don't know. Interesting. Some photos. Ooh. So these are the various team members. Oh, who are you? That's really interesting. Recent documents, corrupted data detected. Restore files? Yeah, let's give it a go. Partial data recovery successful. Emergency food. A thorough look at what common chemicals and compounds found at Pathos 2 could keep you alive in emergency situations. Okay. Nutrition through the veins. A manual on how to keep unconscious or comatosed colleagues fed through intravenous drip. Oof. Last access by C Sarah Lindwall. Wow, so she's doing, she looked up all these different things to keep herself alive, not just in terms of both nutrition and a whole bunch of other things. Post-construction alterations, methods on how to make room for additional payload after the casing has been constructed and left Delta. Last access by Catherine Chung. Huh. So this is a way to maybe try to remotely increase the storage of the Ark. That would certainly be helpful. I guess there's the Ark. Is there anything else we want to do while we're in here? I mean, there's some more pictures down here. This tree. Presumably, that's Sarah there in the picture. I don't... I don't want to end her life support. I really don't. Is there anything else interesting in here? What is all this green stuff? I don't know. Some dishes... Have you washed your hands? One of the most important things to do. One of the most disgusting things to not do. Alright, well I guess... Oh, did we see this? I think we did. Yeah. Alright, we'll take the Ark then. Please don't look at me like this. <sighs> you serious about me killing you? No, I... Love to hang around here until I dry up to the size of a raisin. Simon, this fucking sucks. <coughs> I don't want to live like this. Oh man. This is quite the situation, guys. This is probably the last human on Earth. The last human on Earth. We have the Ark, presumably the future and only hope left of mankind. But at the same time, can we, while holding this Ark, kill off the last human alive? Shouldn't we be doing something to keep you alive? Why? You're the last human. I, I just find it disrespectful to our entire history not to fight this. Sure, we have the Ark, but you're the real deal. Thanks. That's probably the best compliment I've ever got. But the truth is that the Ark 
is all we have. We'll have to accept second best, you know? <sighs> does she really, does she really want me to end life support? This feels right. Simon, I want to die. Sarah. Just think about it. Okay. In this sort of situation, it's really tough, obviously, right? I think given the circumstances, given her clear intentions, and I think that she's in a good state of mind to make such an evaluation, I'll, um, I'll disable the life support and feel awful about it for quite some time. Would you stay with me, please? It won't be long now. Just, just please, just stay. Yeah, will do. I think this is a little bit different. What a crazy thing this was. Life. From our second Simon situation. Though there are clearly some overlaps. I still want to have to turn 30. Right. What? You're not even 30? You wish I could have died at home. You ever been to Greenland? It's very beautiful. Well, at least when you get out of the city. Nanok is busy, and yes, there's like 12 million people trying to get around, but it's a great place. Or rather, it was a great place before the comet ended it. This is so sad. You know what? I prefer it this way. I like to pay bills. Like to my colleagues, Ian, Nick, Jasper. Even Catherine, the way you say that. <laughs> People thought she was weird because she was quiet, but she was cool. Simon, you still there? I'm here, Sarah. Don't let him die, okay? Send them out there to the stars. The music, the sound design. And that's the last beep we heard. The black box is inactive. Probably found a way to switch it off. Wow. What a what a touching moment, truly. I will say, recently, for those of you that don't know, I work at a hospital and I've been spending a lot of time in the intensive care units and running into situations dealing with... No way I can climb a ladder while carrying the ark like this. Oh boy. But I'm um, dealing with situations where people are reaching the end of their life and have thought in advance about how they want that to look, whether it's at the hospital, at home, with friends, with family, what machines they're they permit to extend their life or not it's um some pretty heavy stuff but okay we have the arc now i guess don't have much of a choice but to just kind of fall with it the unfortunate reality of that being that now i'm a little bit less healthy and the next question being where do I go now? I think the only situation I really can go is, um, I can't go in here. I think I came from the work area, right? Yeah, and I can't go back up there now. So the game is telling me I need to go back to the dive room, which means I'm probably gonna have to escape that monster again so that I can leave Tau and head towards Phi. So, wish me luck, guys. It's going to be a rough journey here. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but Simon's moving a little bit more slowly while carrying this. What is that? Is 
there's something in here? No? I wonder if I can hide in here. This reminds me of, like, Outlast. Well, doesn't seem like there's much to really find in here. We'll take a look in each of these just to be safe. But it almost sounded like a roar of some sort of monster. Probably, I mean, if it's connected to WoW, and WoW is connected to pretty much everything, it's probably aware that we are running amok with the Ark in our hands. So let's see what's on the other side of this. This doesn't seem very good. Error. Okay. So now what? Waiting for cargo. The payload. User Catherine Chun. Oh, and this is the thing that she was looking into. How to basically increase the the cargo for a set, um, what's it called? Do I literally just attach this? Did we not attach it already? Hmm. Okay. Oh, I have to attach it here. But yeah, Catherine was researching how to increase the, the capacity for the cargo. So we've done that. Lovely. Now we can actually swipe our Omni tool, too. Oh, man. I thought that was going to allow us to talk to Catherine. So that should do that. Lovely. Now let's configure. Now do I swipe my Omni tool? Filling air life. Pressure difference in and out. Oh, game's lagging a little bit. All good. Obviously a lot going on on the inside. Flood mechanism malfunction. That's not good. That's very not good. Sequence halted, unable to equalize pressure. Okay. How do we fix that from in here is the question. I mean, can't open that. Interesting. I don't know how. Whatever is going on. Did we just die? It seemed like it was the only thing in the room that I could actually interact with. But it seems like I died. Although, given the saving and loading screens, maybe that was the right move. Well, the Ark is still there. Which is good. Can we try... Oh, the pressure difference is the same. Okay, lovely. So, off we go with the Ark. These are those tunnels, right? Come on. Move out of the way. Please. Thank you. So, I think we're actually headed to Fi now. Which is pretty cool. After blacking out from all the water coming in and the pressure changes. about that sound design. Alright, that's coming up. Lovely. It just feels like the whole tunnel, the whole area we're in is just kind of like creaking from the pressure, you know, ready to burst at the seams. Everything seems so surreal. The tunnels were deemed unstable, right? Uh-oh, so there goes the Ark. Where do we go is the question. 
can I even, like... I don't see myself, uh, taking down this barrier here. Who are you? Okay. So things become a little bit more ominous. Not unexpected. I'm trying to jump up this. It's kind of funny, you can see that this is clearly static. Oh, no, it wasn't. It just looked like it was static. It's probably a couple different, you know, layers or whatever. Um, alright. There's a light coming here on the right. I would imagine that's guiding me in the right direction. So let's go on through here and see what we find. Hopefully there are no deep sea creatures waiting for us in these tunnels. Left or right? We will go to the right. And that is because I think that's just where we have to go, right? Just kind of keeping oriented to where we are relative to the tunnel. Although, I'm curious now. Is there anything over here? I don't want to miss anything. No. Truly was just a relatively meaningless fork in the road. Unless maybe there is some meaning I'm unaware of. Okay. Things seem relatively quiet. So I'm a little bit hesitant to run. But at the same time, in the interest of time. Wow, this is such a neat environment. This is where it all went wrong, Simon. Interesting. So now we are at Site Alpha. This is where the tunnels were unstable, and this is what forced them to turn back, I believe. Right? So we can go in here to Site Alpha. What's this over here on the left? Is this a little pathway? Maybe to some sort of secret? No? Just a little... Okay, just a little bend. Gotcha. And look at the WoW. You could just see the WoW emerging. It seems like we're getting closer and closer to the core of WoW. And you can just see how much d more dominant its presence has gotten since we've gotten closer and closer. So, I'm pretty excited to see what's happening at Site Alpha. I'm sure you guys are too. But, of course, we are going to explore Site Alpha in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. This one was relatively mellow. We escaped some monsters early on, but then we got a little glimpse of what living at Site Tau was like. We got a little bit of an idea of what went wrong when the original team tried to launch the Ark. And now we're getting closer to really the heart of the problem. We have the Ark, and we're trying to launch it at five, but this is where the team ran into its struggles, and, well, we're going to see if we can surpass them. But until the next episode, this has been Night Zero, and this mission is complete.